Hi everybody, this is Dr. Tanya and I have a very very special guest for me that I will announce as soon as we see a few people online. But before we start off, let me just put in a few comments about what we're talking about today. Whoop. Now how do I pin my own comment? Wow, Instagram is difficult. All right, we have a hundred people online. Excellent. Hello, special guest. <laughs> my special guest today is my mother. Hi from Brazil. Hi everybody who's saying hello. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about the importance of sexual health and doing some random chit chat today. This is my mother. She's Dr. Abhilasha Chaturvedi. She's a senior gynecologist. Oh wow, we have a lot of people suddenly. Huh. Um, yeah, so she's a senior gynecologist and you can ask us all of your questions and have fun but 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 we're not going to be talking about anything PCOS today. No PCOS questions please for the love of God. <laughs> I am so tired of seeing PCOS questions in every single post. Mummy, you want to say hi? Hi. 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 Obstetricians, what are you talking about? Obstetricians, those who handle the delivery cases. Ah. So, every time you are pregnant, anybody who would deliver you, hi Deep. Finally, no PCOS, yes, Siddharth, no PCOS this time. <laughs> um, mommy, you are talking about hello. Bol rahe. <laughs> um, yeah, I have told you. So, obstetricians are people who. Um, help you deliver your baby and take care of your pregnancy so that's what my mom does but mostly she works on fertility and IVF and how to treat infertility so that's really really fun how are you doing this? I don't want to read comments I don't want to read both of you are coming in ok this works periods missing for teenagers sorry I'm not going to I'm not going to answer any incompetent oh sorry guys please namaste bua yashi mama yashi asta bhi hai hi everybody um yeah this is going to be all about sexual health only sexual health no PCOS no incompetent oh no missed periods Okay, what do you think is the importance of sexual health? Sexual health is very important. You have to have the information because you can't follow. I wrote an article and somebody said that we have to follow the instincts. No, instincts are for animals. We are human beings. We have to have a discipline in everything. And for the discipline, you need information. Unless you have the correct information, you cannot be disciplined. And since sex is related with the fertility, so they are so much intermingled that you cannot separate them. So if you have misinformation regarding sex, then you can have infertility problem, you can have unwanted pregnancies and unwanted pregnancies will also be managed very poorly very poorly and unscientifically and they can have long term consequences on your complete health so that's why I again insist this information can change your life because a female's life is very much dependent upon her although uterus is a very small organ but uterus reproductive tract and in fact gynecology means coco Sorry. Huh. The word, <laughs> word gynecology was derived from the female. Mm. Gyna means woman. Huh. So, uh, uh, honestly speaking, that is the center, epicenter of your life. <laughs> so, like Shivji Kashi mein virajman hai, unke upar sashti tiki hui hai, usi prakar se, ek istri ke jeevan, उस एक रिप्रोडक्टिव ट्रैक्ट के ऊपर टिका हुआ है। शादी क्यों होती है? शादी क्यों होती है? सेक्स के लिए। मम्मी। You go, you give me an opportunity to speak so else। अरे ये थोड़ी होता है। शादी सेक्स के लिए नहीं होती है। 
अरेंजमेंट ऑफ मैरिज वॉज एक्चुअली मेड फॉर दिफ सेक्स विद मेन आइडिया ऑफ सेविंग सेफ सेक्स सेफ एंड recognized authorized sex nahi or the, the, the concept of marriage in sexuality has stepped in oh god mummy sab has rahe hain the concept of sexuality in uh, of controlling sexuality with the means of marriage is um, a construct which by the state to control your sexuality please don't fall for that trap if you you don't have to get married you don't have to get married meri mummy will disagree with this <laughs> But uh, but uh, marriage is licensed. किस चीज़ का license चाहिए ऐसे करिए ना मतलब license क्यों चाहिए? <laughs> okay. You get license to practice sex. You can practice sex on your own. Please ignore my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I am old fashioned. traditional person so i will definitely say if, if you were old fashioned and tradition mummy we wouldn't be doing a live about <laughs> sexual health on instagram today <laughs> okay let's see if we have any interesting questions everybody like say thank you thank you so hase ja rahe nobody is asking a question now batao hase chale ja rahe हाँ मम्मी एक बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन आया था जिसमें आपको बहुत कोको चुप पूरा लिबर्टी है मुझे जूता मारने की समबडी इज आर व्हाट इज द वन थिंग यू डिसलाइक अबाउट योर डॉटर एंड वन थिंग यू लाइक अबाउट योर डॉटर आई लाइक अबाउट माय डॉटर आई लाइक सो मेनी थिंग्स अच्छा अरे वाह बट आई डोंट लाइक हर स्लीपिंग वेरी लेट इन द मॉर्निंग मम्मी शी शी डजंट हैव अ सेंस ऑफ टाइम मैनेजमेंट Oh God. Okay. So apparently, I don't have a sense of time management, guys. And what do you, what do you like about me? Uh, rest of the things I like. Ah, chacha, that's all right. Does woman need less sex than man? Absolutely not. There is no. This is a myth. No, 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 no. I hear. I differ. Because women has to do multitasking, so their focus is diverted. Man, he mummy. Man. In a traditional family, men come, eat, and want to have sex. Female <laughs> <laughs> has to look after the kitchen. Mummy, <laughs> feed everybody, <laughs> make bed, <laughs> feed the dogs also, and then. <laughs> Please, guys, so oh focus God. is diverted. <laughs> okay. Um, Basically, both require sex equally. Yes. Thank but you. But the situations in the Indian traditional setup are like this: that the focus is diverted. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> okay. When did you realize the importance of sexual health? In fact, uh, we were from a generation that we did not know sexual health. जब हम लोग पढ़ते थे तो सेक्स एजुकेशन जैसा कंसेप्ट आया था लेकिन ये नहीं मालूम था सेक्स एजुकेशन में क्या बताया जाता देर वॉज अंसेप्ट ऑफ सेक्स एजुकेशन इन आवर जनरेशन बट वी रियल नो बडी न्यू वी मीन नो बडी न्यू एक्चुअली वॉट इज टू बी डिस्कस इन सेक्स एजुकेशन तो वेन डिड यू रियलाइज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ इट गायनी करते करते ओके बाय द वे सो माई मदर हैज़ अ डबल मास्टर्स डिग्री शी इज अ पैथोलॉजिस्ट एंड अ गायनोकोलॉजिस्ट सो हाउ अनकम्फर्टेबल इज इट गेट फॉर डैट नो माई डैड चिलिंग मैन ही इज लाइक इन द नेक्स्ट रूम दिस इज फाइन ही अंडरस्टैंड्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस एंड लाइक बोथ माई पेरेंट्स आर फर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट सो दिस इज अ वेरी नॉर्मल कॉन्वर्सेशन इन माई हाउस है एनी वे या हाँ सो वेन डिड यू रियलाइज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ सेक्स सेक्शुअल एजुकेशन So I I can't give a cut off line. Ha, yeah, but like you know, there has there must have been a point where you would have th- thought that okay, this is an important thing. Because uh, the patients are <laughs> my infertility patients. Few in few of them, the cause of infertility was because they did not know how to perform sex. Aha, uh-huh, aha. Uh-huh. That's very a common, fact. Very common. So I'm I'm going to come and tell you a very funny story that happened to me when I was in medical school. 
so in our community medicine posting we had like i had to talk to this particular couple, couple about um how to use a condom and uh, they just had a child at that time and then when i went back for that same posting and i you know she was saying hi to the lady and i was trying to say um that you know like this is yeah i hope you're well it's been one year since i saw you i came back a one year later and i was asking them how are they doing and then i see that they have a child again and i was like why where, where did this child come from didn't i tell you how to use a condom the last time and i showed it to them i showed them how to koko chup raho i showed them how to do it by rolling it on the mummy aap please baat karengi main isko chup chup kar rahi hu pakad rahi hu Uh, so the story is still in- incomplete okay so the story is that uh, i told uh, them that you know this is how you use a condom i showed it to them by rolling it onto a banana and then when i came back the next year they said they they used the condom but they put it on a banana and that's why they were pregnant again <laughs> like literally they put it on a banana <laughs> i have infertility patients Later on, they had hyperfertility and uh, they requested termination of pregnancy also. But when uh, I examined them, that uh, the hymen was intact. And when I asked about the sexual history, they were practicing penetration in the umbilicus. So that was the thing. They did not know where to <laughs> uh, where to do the penetration. so our information is very very restricted and they can't ask anybody that is the problem ha huh? kya yeah. that umbilical are baap re ha intercourse ha yeah so this is the most uh, famous story we have in our family <laughs> that we had somebody i mean to to be fair it was uh, very logical of them you know when anybody asks you Where does the baby come from? They say बच्चा पेट से आता है पेट में एक छेद है सो लॉजिकली इट मेक सेंस याशन टूडे द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ एल जी बी टी इशूज इन कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव सेक्शुअल एजुकेशन मम्मी एल जी बी टी इशूज के बारे में एजुकेशन के बारे में आपका क्या कहना है क्या मतलब हम लोगों को इसके बारे में एजुकेट करना चाहिए हमें एजुकेशन मिलना चाहिए क्या आपको इसके बारे में एडिकुटली पता है हमारे जमाने में तो एल जी बी टी बने सच में अच्छा फॉर द पीपल हु डोंट नो वट अम्बलाइक इज दिस मीन्स द बेली बाटू सो ही वॉज गोइंग he was going it he was doing and lgbt community was not getting respect although in ancient times lgbt was a very established brand <laughs> and okay, i had this and in kumbh mela this year in uh, this year in elabad kumbh mela there was one lakshmi narayan tripathi she was from lgbt community and she told that her parents came to know about her lgbt status via her interview on the tv they was so the interview so on she TV. belongs to a royal family no nee, royal nahi take a address okay in a brahman family traditional Achha. brahman family and at her home she was a normal male but when the parents the family member they watched an interview on tv featuring yes. lakshmi narayan tripathi ha huh. then they were shocked mm. to learn she had to disclose her identity this aspect of her identity and shankaracharya gave them one full akhada and in this kumbh mela everybody who visited kumbh mela was definitely going to sector 12 akhada number something to uh, meet uh, lakshmi narayan tripathi so our shankaracharya also gave them a respectable status okay there's a very interesting question that i'm quite liking how to normalize discussion on sexual health with parents and younger siblings 
Mummy, how will you address this? Ah, that is the parents actually. That is the parents' job because uh, the parents are not prepared to discuss this matter. The children are. Ha! <laughs> the children are like every day. I talk to people, and everybody is just like, you know, I need to get. They saw they need to get that, and if I tell, I just had a conversation with somebody today, and I was telling them that, um, you know, they wanted to buy lubricant, and I was telling them that, you know, if you if you can't figure out how to buy lubricant, just order something on, I don't know, online. If you can't figure out where to buy it in um, the market. Very 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 interesting thing. Tanaya went to a friend's house. Both the parents are doctor, and on the dinner table, oh, what? she said. <laughs> She said uh, something about menopause. I, I, I just and said. The parents, both the parents are doctors, and they are in UK. So this and was I. I gone to a friend's house for dinner in the UK, and they're both doctors. This is an Indian origin family, and both the parents are doctors. And I just said, "Mummy, yeah, it's too late. No, it's too I just said that um, I, they were having a separate conversation, and I said something about you know menopause. That oh, so my yeah, I was telling the story about when my mother was having menopause and she kind of lost her shit. So <laughs> I never lost it. <laughs> I never lost it. It was never exaggerated. <laughs> so uh, I just said menopause, and my friend got really like pissed off, and my friend later came to me, and uh, he was like. Um, Yeah, so please don't say things like menopause at the dinner table in my house because my parents got very uncomfortable, and I was like, "Dude, aren't your parents doctors?" And I never went to his house ever again. Like we, like you know, even if we're still friends, I never went to his house ever again after this because doctor parents being uncomfortable with in saying UK, menopause. In the UK, so yeah. ये बात आई कहाँ से थी? नहीं, parents कैसे इससे कैसे discussion dialogue dialogue कैसे establish करें? Huh. Establish dialogue. But this the is a real question. Parents have to be more vocal, more open. That's true. We are infertility specialist. Otherwise, also we are from a rebel type. Ha, huh. rebel type actually. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. So, hmm. Okay, I'm going to take a request for somebody else. If somebody wants to come live and ask us one question. So, if you want to come on live and ask one question, send in your request, and we'll take. Two questions, then. Five minutes. Five minutes. Only food. Dinner. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, if you do want to join us and ask us a question in person or say hi to us, send in your request, and we'll get you in. Okay. We have so many requests. Ah, Shazia. Mummy, Shazia. What's your name? Huh? ये क्या हो रहा है हाउ डज दिस वर्क व्हाट इज हैपनिंग ओ माय गॉड आई डोंट इवन नो हाउ इंस्टाग्राम वर्क्स मम्मी मैंने कुछ गलत किया ओके हां सॉरी सेंड योर रिक्वेस्ट अगेन बिकॉज़ दिस इज नॉट वर्किंग कुछ और बात करिए तब तक फिल द एम्प्टी स्पेस ओ वेट Here are the requests. Okay, I can see the requests here. Is this how it works? I'm not sure if I know how to send a request, guys. I'm sorry. I've never added somebody on live before. I've only been added on live before. Oh, somebody's being connected. Oh, I wonder who this is. Hi. Hi, Doctor Tanaya, the cute doctor and cute mummy doctor. Um, I am from Kerala. <laughs> It's lovely to listen to you both, both mama and uh, doctor doctors. Even my sister, two sisters are doctors, a radiologist and another is pulmonologist. And yeah, I'm so happy to join. I was about to say happy to join you guys, but I can't say that. Anyways, uh, doctors, I just have one question, like. Um, Is it possible for a woman to completely abstain from having a sexual life for her life, like a single or not? I mean, not. I'm not specifically mentioning any particular group, but I'm just asking you: Is it possible to abstain from totally from a, a sexual life, like if she wants to be like that? That's my question. Is yeah, it is it is going to happen? Child, health, wife, everything like that. 
this is completely one hundred percent an individual choice. If you want to be celibate, you can go ahead and do this. If anybody, any human being of any gender wants to be celibate, it, there is no harm in doing that. Um, in, and if doctor, if uh, if it's going to harm her, like any bodily, like uh, health wise. If if it's if, if it's an absolute necessity to have a active sexual life or to have a life, that's uh, normal question. I'm not able to hear your question properly. Can you type it in because I think there's a connection lag. Okay, okay, fine. Um. Is it possible? Ooh, whoops. Okay. I think the internet isn't Every working. Every personal well. choice should be respected unless it comes out from social or religious pressure. So the same way as you know, you don't have to be pressured socially or religiously to be celibate or to you know not you know have any kind of intercourse or any kind of sexual activity. And, and it can be temporary situation. Today you have one mindset, and after ten years your mindset may change. Absolutely. So one should not be very rigid. With change of mindset, change of situation, one should always be prepared to change. Absolutely, that's true. Um, I'm not sure if we got the question. Rigidity in any form is not appreciated. That gives tension and stress. Indeed, that's true. Okay, let's see if there is another question that we can address. Meanwhile, while we get the other question, oh, they have to accept the request as well. Huh? That's odd. And even celibates, they also have reproductive tract problems. Eh? Yeah. Why not? What problems? No dysmenorrhea, no sexual endometriosis, no sexual. No endometriosis. This may not be a cure. It's a little bit. I mean, it's okay. It can help. Yeah, it can help. 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 Okay, wait. Does using a condom for contraception imply using it from the start to the end, or just before the final ejaculation? No, it has to be from the beginning to the end because you do secrete something called pre-ejaculatory fluid. Hello. Hello. I'm not getting your video. Yeah, even I'm not able to feature it. I don't know it's not coming. Do you want to send your request again and see if I can accept it this time? Yeah. All right. Oh, and this is the last question we're going to be taking. After this, there is no request. ये क्या हुआ? मम्मी क्या है ये? Oh, ये रे. Hello. Hi. Now it's coming back. Okay, I don't know if it's coming or not. Yeah, <laughs> so I just asked the question. <laughs> okay, yeah. So my question is like in India we have a lot of problems addressing sexual health. Like even if a female goes to buy a condom, you're gonna have so many people staring at you at the pharmacy or even in general. And then other things, so this is not available. So <laughs> is there something that can be done or something that because it's really it is. Annoying and it's a pain. Like you don't have sexual health services in India, and even people don't talk about it openly. And if you do, then they just start labeling you stuff. So yes. What do you think? Can something be done to tackle this problem? Of I really don't. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, I would suggest that just having conversations around this can be very very helpful. Like nowadays, a lot of people can say to other people that oh, I'm on my period. You know and When I was in school, I could not have imagined saying this. I went to a co-ed school for my last two years, and you know, I and I'm not a person that doesn't say things. Okay, I say everything. <laughs> um, but I would hide my pads inside my skirt and like sneak. And I was the head girl of my school, right? So I had to be running around all day. So um, 
yeah it was very awkward when i had to hide my pads and stuff but now i announce on instagram oh yeah to 25000 followers hello i have my period <laughs> So uh, it has changed dramatically over the years. I would say in the past ten years, at least since when I was in school, and this is the only way to do it. Talk, 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 talk. Make noise. I heard something very interesting the other day, where somebody said um, there's a campaign for Whisper to change its name, and the name should now become and the name should now become Shout because um, we shouldn't have to whisper about this. <laughs> yeah. Nobody will change. Nobody else will change till you yourself change your mindset. First, you have to be confident about it. Then only others will follow. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for that wonderful question. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um on this note we're also going to wrap up the live and thank you for your lovely lovely questions. We had a fun time. Did, did we have a fun time? Yes, definitely. It was a new experience for me. <laughs> okay, we're going to go eat dinner now. So have a lovely night and a very happy world sexual ha huh, a very very happy world sexual health day to everybody. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> What is happening? Oh my God! I don't even know how Instagram works. But we managed to get it together. Okay. Ha! Huh, sorry. Send your request again because this is not working. कुछ और बात करिए तब तक fill the empty space. <laughs> Oh wait, here are the requests. Okay, I can see the requests here. Is this how it works? I'm not sure if I know how to send a request, guys. I'm sorry. I've never added somebody on live before. I've only been added on live before. Oh, somebody's being connected. Oh, I wonder who this is. Hi. Hi, Doctor Tanaya, the cute doctor and cute mummy doctor. Um, I am from Kerala. <laughs> It's lovely to listen to you both, both mama and uh, doctor doctors. Even my sister, two <laughs> sisters are doctors, a radiologist and another is pulmonologist. And yeah, nice. I'm so happy to join. I was about to say happy to join you guys, but I can't say that. Anyways, uh, doctors, I just have one question, like. Um, Is it possible for a woman to completely abstain from having a sexual life for her life, like a saint or not? I mean, not. I'm not specifically mentioning any particular group, but I'm just asking you: Is it possible to abstain from totally from a, a sexual life, like if she wants to be like that? That's my question. Is yeah, it? Is it? Is going to happen? Can I help her? Anything like that? This is completely one hundred percent an individual choice. If you want to be celibate, you can go ahead and do this. If anybody, any human being of any gender wants to be celibate, they can practice it. There is no harm in doing that. Um, and if the doctor, if if uh, it's going to harm her, like any bodily, like uh, health wise, if if it's if, if it's an absolute necessity to have a active sexual life all through her life. That's normal um, question. I'm not able to hear your question properly. Can you type it in? Because I think there's a connection lag. Okay. Okay. Fine. Is it possible? Oh, whoops. Okay. I think the internet is not working. Every personal well. choice should be respected unless it comes out from social or religious pressure. So the same way as you know, you don't have to be pressured socially or religiously to be celibate or to you know not you know have any kind of intercourse or any kind of sexual activity. And, and it can be temporary situation. Today you have one mindset, and after ten years your mindset may change. Absolutely. So. Why should not be very rigid? With change of mindset, change of situation, why should always be prepared to change? 
Absolutely, that's true. Um, I'm not sure if we got the question. Rigidity in any form is not appreciated. That gives tension and stress. Indeed, that's true. Okay, let's see if there is another question that we can address meanwhile while we get the other question. Oh, they have to accept the request as well. Huh, that's odd. And even celibates, they also have reproductive tract problems. Eh? Yeah. Why not? What problems? No, dysmenorrhea nahi ho sakta, endometriosis nahi ho sakta. Oh, endo- but the dysmenorrhea ka cure ye thodi hota hai, matlab thik hai, it can help. Nubiai nahi ho sakta. Regenerative hmm. stars nahi ho sakta. Hmm. Infective nahi hoga, non-infective bhi ho sakta. Okay, I think we have ho somebody hai. joining. Polyp ho sakta hai. They can have uh. anatomical problems. कोई ज्वाइन कर रहा है कनेक्टिंग लिख के आ रहा है बट उसके आगे कुछ नहीं हो रहा है ओके वेट दिस यूजिंग अ कंडम फॉर कॉन्ट्रसेप्शन इंप्लाई यूजिंग इट फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट टू द एंड और जस्ट बिफोर द फाइनल इजैकुलेशन नो इट हैज टू बी फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग टू द एंड बिकॉज़ यू डू सिक्रीट समथिंग कॉल्ड प्री इजैकुलेटरी फ्लूइड हेलो वेलकम हेलो आई एम नॉट गेटिंग योर वीडियो या इवन आई एम नॉट एबल टू फीचर आई डोंट नो इट्स नॉट कमिंग Do you want to send your request again and see if I can accept it this time? Yeah. All right. Hmm. Oh, and this is the last question we're going to be taking after this. There is no request. ये क्या हुआ? मम्मी क्या है ये? Oh, ये रे. Hello. Hi. Now it's Hi. coming. Back. Okay. I don't know if it's coming or not. Yeah, <laughs> so I just ask the question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So my question is like in India we have a lot of problems addressing sexual health. Like even if a female goes to buy a condom, you're gonna have so many people staring at you at the pharmacy or even. in general and then other things so this is not available so <laughs> is it something that can be done or something that because it's really it is annoying and it's a pain like you don't have sexual health services in india and even people don't talk about it openly and if you do then they just start labeling you stuff so yes what do you think about can something be done to tackle this problem of i really don't i don't know what to do <laughs> okay i would suggest that just having conversations around this can be very very helpful like nowadays a lot of people can say to other people that oh i'm on my period you know and when i was in school i could not have imagined saying this i went to a coed school for my last two years and you know i and i'm not a person that doesn't say things okay i say everything <laughs> um but i would hide my pads inside my skirt and like sneak and i was the head girl of my school right so i had to be running around all day so um yeah it was very awkward when i had to hide my pads and stuff but now i announce on instagram oh yeah to 25000 followers hello i have my period <laughs> so um, it has changed dramatically over the years i would say in the past 10 years at least since when i was in school and this is the only way to do it talk 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 make noise i heard something very interesting the other day where somebody said um There's a campaign for Whisper to change its name. Whisper to change its name, and the name should now become and shout. The name should now become shout instead of whisper. Because um, we shouldn't have to whisper about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody will change. Nobody else will change till you yourself change your mindset. First, you have to be confident about it. Then only others will follow. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for that wonderful question. Yeah. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Let me bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Um on this note we're also going to wrap up the live and thank you for your lovely lovely questions. We had a fun time. Did, did we have a fun time? Yes, definitely. It was a new experience for me. <laughs> okay, we're going to go eat dinner now. So have a lovely night and a very happy world sexual Ha. Huh, Very happy World Sexual Health Day to everybody. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bore away, you know.